I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscriber, Mai, for an excellent question. And I hope the solution of this question will help many others. I'll also answer one more question which has been asked by many students. And the question here is, can we have two horizontal asymptotes? Can we have two horizontal asymptotes? The answer is yes. And you will see how with the help of this example. Now to begin with, let's also understand what is an horizontal asymptote and how do we define it. Basically, if for a given function, the value of x is approaching, let us say, a large positive value, for example, infinity. In that case, if the function approaches a fixed value, let's say L, then we say that there is a horizontal asymptote. And the equation of this horizontal asymptote will be y equals to L. Now the thing is that we could also consider, rather we should, what happens to the function when it approaches negative infinity? In that case also, this function could approach some other value, let's say L2. In that case, y will be equals to L2 the second horizontal asymptote. Most of the time, these are same values, but not always. So in this particular example, they are actually different values. And therefore, let me divide this page into two portions and solve for each. So let's begin from uh, for x equals to positive infinity first. So we have our function f of x as equal to 2x plus 1 over square root of x square plus 3. Now we are basically trying to find what happens when x approaches positive infinity. This is what we are trying to find. In the other half, we'll see what happens to the function f of x equals to 2x plus 1 over square root of x square plus 3 when x approaches negative infinity. Well, the steps are kind of same. So, so for this particular condition, what we will do here is that in the denominator, we'll factor out x square. This is a very important technique which you can apply for any such question. So what we get here is 1 plus 3 over x. I mean, sorry, 3 over x square. Okay. When I factor out x squared, you get 1 plus 3 over x squared. Now what happens when x approaches a large value? What happens when x approaches a positive large value? Now, those who are doing limits can actually write this question as, they can write this as limit x approaches infinity, correct? You could do that. So let me write in this fashion limit x approaches infinity, what happens? If x is very large, numerator will approach 2x, 1 is very small, correct? So we could write this as 2x divided by, in the case of denominator, it will be x squared, within brackets, 3 over x squared is very small, so it could be written as 1 plus 0, because 3 over x squared, 3 divided by a large number will approach 0. Correct? So in a way, what we get here is an expression which is 2x over square root of x square. As you know, square root of x square is absolute value of x. So we get 2x over absolute value of x. Do you get the idea, right? Now, why is it absolute value of x, not x? I'll provide you with links. This is always positive, do you understand? So short way is square root always gives you a positive value, right? So we write absolute value of x, perfect. Well, if you follow the same steps here, you will get the same result, right? So if you follow the same steps, we'll also get here that f of x, when, we, now let me write limit, when x approaches negative infinity will be 2x over absolute value of x. You get the same result. Since this x squared is also positive, in any case, 
3 divided by a large number is 0. Whether you add it or you subtract it, it doesn't make a difference. Got it? Okay. But now here, we have a huge difference. That is to say, in this side, if I'm considering x to be a positive value, maybe large, in that case, numerator is positive. Do you see that? Do you see that? In that case, you can also write that absolute value of x is x. So if I consider a positive value, in that case, my expression will become 2x over x. Since the definition of absolute x is, is what? Let me write here. Absolute x is defined as positive x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative x when x is less than 0. You get it, correct? So that is the definition of absolute x which we are going to use. So when we are approaching positive infinity, absolute x is just x. Now these two x's cancels, we get 2. So in this particular case, the equation of horizontal asymptote is y equals to 2. You get it. However, in this particular case, since x is approaching negative infinity, which is a negative value less than 0, absolute value of x is negative x. And therefore, f of x is equal to 2x over minus x, which results into minus 2. So in this particular case, horizontal asymptote equation will be y equals to minus 2. Do you get it? So we have two different asymptotes, one minus two, the other one is plus two. I hope that's very easy to understand now. It is ratio of leading coefficients, basically. So two over what, correct? Since I take it out as an absolute value, it is definitely two. But absolute x could be positive or negative, depending on how you define it, correct? That gives you two different equations for horizontal asymptote. So that is how also you can understand. So I hope this explanation works for both students who are either taking functions or calculus. If you are doing calculus, you can use limits, all this equal to right. And if not, you can use the convention that if x is approaching a large value, positive or negative, what happens? Feel free to share your views and comments. I'll appreciate if you like and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.